Hello, and welcome to our short training video about subjectively evaluating temperament in beef cattle. While there are many ways to assess an animal's temperament, this video will explicitly address what is referred to as shoot score. So, let's get started. When working cattle, you have surely seen a wide range of reactions to being restricted in a shoot, from simply standing still, to a little bit of fidgeting, to a much more aggressive attempt to be released from restraint. This range in behavior can be placed into what is called an ethogram, which is simply just a numeric ranking of temperament. Shoot score is measured on a scale of one for docile to six for aggressive, the extremes of which are easy to delineate. What will be included in this video are tips and behaviors to look for that will help further delineate the behaviors in the middle. We will start with a shoot score of one. While the ethogram itself is all placed together in one description, it is helpful to delineate the scores into motion and behavior. Most, if not all, docile cattle seem very much undisturbed or unconcerned while standing still inside the chute. Their behavior resembles that of a calm animal. Most will not flick their tail or vocalize. Let's look at an example. In this short video, you see that this heifer seems unconcerned with her surroundings. Her head moves a little, but it almost seems as if she's using the head gate to scratch an itch. Otherwise, her tail nor her feet move at all, and she does not vocalize. Comparatively, an animal that receives a two is considered slightly restless. They remain in motion, not standing still for more than a few seconds. They will have occasional tail flicking, as compared to none in the previous example, and they may blow quietly through their nostrils, as if they were agitated. While they seem a little more nervous than docile animals, most will still not vocalize. At the beginning of the video, this heifer does vocalize, and if you watch closely, you will see her blow air out of her nostrils like a frustrated teenager. Most importantly, the heifer just seems to fidget throughout the entire video. She does not pick up and move her feet, but she does rock back and forth, flicking her tail on occasion. The next shoot score of three categorizes cattle as restless. They are again in continuous motion, but are now pushing and pulling against the head gate itself, but not forceful enough in their action to appear to be struggling. Restless cattle will have increased amounts of tail flicking and vocalization, but are still considered quieter than average. In this example video, you will notice the heifer appears to be moving her body forward and backward against the head gate. This motion is constant throughout the video as she does not appear to want to stand still. Finally, the frequency with which she flicks her tail is much higher than the previous video. These actions move her past the point of slightly restless into full restlessness. The next temperament assignment of a four, or nervous, will seem very similar to that of a three, and are admittedly two of the more difficult scores to delineate. Similar to that of a three, this shoot score assignment includes pushing and pulling on the head gate. However, in this case, that motion is much more determined and would include a moderate amount of struggling. So much so that you will begin to see some white in the eye of the animal. Overall, the feet should stay on the ground and the animal will appear impatient and nervous. You will notice frequent tail flicking and increased amounts of vocalization. While this heifer appears to be still at the beginning of the video, she rapidly transitions into a motion of constantly pushing on the head gate. 
she is obviously struggling to push her way out of the restraint. Furthermore, her tail is in constant motion, showing stress and agitation. There are two points in the video, in the middle and at the end, where her head is at such an upward angle that the white is visible in her eyes as well. All things that would lead to her shoot score assignment to be a four. Once past the categorization of nervous, cattle enter the flighty or wild category of the ethogram. This categorization includes cattle who are under so much stress, they struggle violently against the restraint, appearing shaky and out of control. Their overall behavior appears frightened with continuous tail flicking and frequent vocalization. Again, white can be visible in the eye but with the addition of salivation and frothing at the mouth. This example video includes a heifer that is struggling violently against the restraint of the head gate. So much so that her front legs are visible as she jumps upward, continuously pulling against the head gate. At one point, it appears that she uses her legs to push against the restraint in an attempt to pull her head out herself. The final and most rare temperament score is quantified as aggressive. At this point, all the behaviors present in a flighty or wild animal are elevated to yet another level. Cattle may try to lash out of the chute, biting or kicking at individuals surrounding them. This movement and struggle is so violent that the chute itself may begin to rock. Finally, salivation and white around the eye are again present, but there may be continuous bellowing from the animal instead of just simple vocalization. Unfortunately, or fortunately, this behavior is rare enough that no cattle in this set of videos expressed such behavior. However, I am sure we have all experienced one at some point in our lives. Throughout this presentation, you have been given detailed explanation and examples of how to subjectively delineate temperament in cattle using the provided shoot score ethogram. It is possible, putting all the scores together, to see how the ethogram is set up as a linear scale, and that this table simply provides another way to separate said ethogram into motion and behavior. As we move down the table from docile to aggressive, you should have noticed that reactions became more extreme and therefore less desirable. It is important to note that selection and culling decisions based on temperament will vary by operation. There is no set point that is considered acceptable or not. That is up to you, the producer, to decide. Decisions should be made based on personal preference, environment, and other factors you deem necessary. Thank you for taking the time to listen and learn about assessing temperament in cattle when restrained in a chute. We hope that the information contained in this video has been helpful.